Hey guys, this is Camplified, and today we will talk about our first colligative property that is relative lowering in vapor pressure. We have already talked about the number of colligative properties which we will talk about in our upcoming videos. This is the first video of our first colligative property that is relative lowering in vapor pressure. So let's start. Now, what is relative lowering in vapor pressure? Before that, let's repeat what is the meaning of colligative properties. So, those physical properties of a solution which depends upon the relative number of particles of solute and do not depend upon the nature of solute particle are called colligative properties. So, the properties which only depend on the number of particles are colligative properties. Now, first colligative property is relative lowering in vapor pressure. So, what is re relative lowering in vapor pressure? When a non-volatile solute, what is the meaning of non-volatile? I have already discussed in the previous videos that non-volatile means any substance or liquid that don't want to evaporate is a non-volatile substance. In our case, since we are talking about liquids, so a non-volatile liquid is that which do not want to evaporate or which don't evaporate easily. When a non-volatile solute is dissolved in a pure solvent the vapor pressure the vapor pressure of the solvent is lowered the vapor pressure of the solvent decreases which means the vapor pressure vapor pressure of the solution vapor pressure of the solution is always lower than that of pure solvent is always lower than that of pure solvent i repeat when non-volatile solute is dissolved in a pure solvent, the vapor pressure of the solvent is lowered. That is, the vapor pressure of a solution is always lower than that of pure solvent. Now, what is the reason? When a non-volatile solute is dissolved in pure solvent, the vapor pressure of the solvent is lowered because the escaping tendency of the solvent molecules decreases. The escaping tendency of the solvent molecules decreases due to lesser number of solvent molecules per unit surface area. Now, what is it saying? Let us consider our container, a simple container. Let it be open. Now, first we have pure solvent. First we have pure solvent. Right? First we have pure solvent and our solvent is volatile. It wants to evaporate. So now, since we have only pure solvent, the molecules will evaporate easily and the surface contains only one type of particle that is solvent particles, right? But as soon as we dissolve a non-volatile solute, the surface particles now have, now have solute particles also. Now, first of all, due to the presence of the solute particles, the surface area of the solvent particle decreases on the surface. The, the amount, the area which was covered by the pure solvent molecules is decreased. And now we know that these yellow particles, the solvent particles are non-volatile, which means they don't want to evaporate. What does it mean? They don't want to evaporate and they are also covering the surface of the liquid, which means the surface area acquired by the pure solvent molecules is decreased in the solution due to which the escaping tendency of the solvent particles also decreases and that's why the vapor pressure of the solution will also decrease. I hope I made it clear. In simple terms, I repeat it again. When a non-volatile solute, when a non-volatile solute is dissolved in pure solvent, the vapor pressure of solvent is lowered because the escaping tendency, the ability of solvent molecules to escape from the surface and to go in vapor phase decreases because less solvent molecules are present in unit surface area in the solution right that's why the vapor pressure get lowered now now comes the uh, formula part if a, if at a certain temperature at a certain temperature means at at a constant temperature if P0 is the vapor pressure of pure solvent and Ps is the vapor pressure of vapor pressure of solution, 
not pure solvent vapor pressure of solution then according to raoult's law relative lowering of vapor pressure is given by let's repeat relative lowering in vapor pressure is given by now before we move this this part pa not minus ps is known as lowering in vapor pressure lowering in vapor pressure now relative lowering in vapor pressure comes into play when we are talking about lowering in vapor pressure in relation to some other thing and what is that other thing vapor pressure of solvent in pure state right so relative lowering in vapor pressure is equal to p not a minus ps this is lowering in vapor pressure in relation to in relation to vapor pressure of pure solvent right vapor pressure of pure solvent now this is equal to mole fraction this is equal to mole fraction mole fraction of sol solute sorry because colligative property depend on the solute particles so this is the mole fraction of solute where this is solute moles of solute and this is moles of solvent now in the next statement what we are writing for dilute solutions for dilute solution n1 is way less than n2 now this is solute and this is solvent what is it saying the number of moles of solute particles are way less than the number of moles of solvent particles in dilute solutions so we can neglect we can neglect this n1 or the number of moles of solute in this formula and what we will get is pa not minus pa ps upon P, pa not is equal to n1 upon n2 so this is your formula for relative lowering of vapor pressure which is equal to mole fraction of the solute so this was your topic relative lowering in vapor pressure now why it is colligative property since relative lowering in vapor pressure depends upon the relative number of solute particles always remember colligative property only depends on the number of solute particles and in this case we talked about mole fraction of solute right so relative lowering of vapor pressure also depend on relative number of solute particles therefore it is called a colligative property remember this term right and this video is re really important this this was a short video but it is really important for the upcoming videos because we use the formula of relative lowering relative lowering in vapor pressure in the upcoming videos of elevation in boiling point and depression in freezing point so please remember the formula all right so this will be it for today's video thank you for watching